Kate, Tiny. They've released the commander. Gorg, too. Good. I look forward to telling Gorak how much of a choya brain he was for trusting Anka. To be fair, we all agreed to the plan. Yeah, if by agreed you mean went along with it, but told you the whole time it was a bad idea. Yeah, but you're right. We did. Still, he and I are gonna have a talk. The commander. Aureen found herself a nice little sea cave to rest up in. She'd love for you to come by. I hitched a ride with a local fisherman. If you don't mind answering a few nosy questions, I bet you can too. Don't forget, you need to meet with Detective Rama as well. Man to fish. He stays fed. You the one needing a lift out to the sea caves? Just Your friend said fish. you might be by. I'm happy to give you a lift whenever. Odd one, I... that friend of yours. Smart, but in a kind of unsettling way. So, you actually know a dragon. You just sit around and eat snacks and shoot the breeze like it's anybody? Well, generally, we talk about slightly more important things than that. Oh, <laughs> you're not secretly a god or something, are you? No, and not that I know of. So, uh, d do you eat sunlight? Uh, not... As such, no. So what do you eat, then? The same things as you, I imagine. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Close as we get. Not gonna ground her just to keep your feet dry. <laughs> ah, Commander. So good to see you walking free again. Yeah, what was it like? You know, in the slammer. Do you get any prison tattoos? Yes, yes, that's enough fun at my expense. Now where's Aureen? She's inside, resting up. Don't worry, really. I just finished running a series of tests on her, and frankly, I'm baffled. Her vital signs are completely normal, but her magic, it's nearly non-existent. They drained her magic. Yes. And that extractor thing they shot her with left us no clue how it works. Or how to cure her. Lady Tiny, your request to accompany Ambassador Mead to court has been approved. I'll be your escort. Lady Tiny, huh? I could get used to that. Consider me escorted. Woohoo! Can't wait to get a closer look at those mechs. Come. I can feel Aureen getting restless. She knows you're here. She spent most of her time sleeping, but hearing you were on your way woke her right up. Champion. Aureen. You're sure you're. I'm fine. Tired, and there's a hollow feeling as if something is missing. I see. Commander, can we talk over here for a second? I think this is taking a toll on her mentally more than anything else. Wish we could perk her up somehow. I hand fed her fish as a hatchling when she was fussy. Well, there's a great big ocean right out there. Need any fishing supplies? You have fishing supplies? <laughs> hey, there hasn't been much to do with Kaz spending all day in meetings. It's... meditative.
I have something for you, Aurin. As you fed me when I was young. But I'm no longer a baby dragon, champion. You could be an ancient dragon, Aurin, and I would still come with fish. That might be optimistic, given your lifespan. But thank you. I will enjoy this. I apologize. I was... reckless. I... I wasn't thinking far enough beyond the moment. You were everywhere out there. And we don't need you to be everywhere. I know. I, I just... I can't face that feeling again. That there was more that I could have done. Well, you'll have to get over that, because it's inevitable. You're right, of course. What was that weapon the Aetherblades used? Any ideas, Commander? No, none. But I'm going to find out. I still need to meet with Detective Rama. I'll see if he knows anything we don't. Oh, yes. Kaz told me about that. Have fun. You caught that she's meeting with the Empress later, right? If I could have told her a year ago that she'd be here now... Well, she never would have believed me. Well, it sounds as if you have plenty to do, Commander. And Aureen needs rest. So, I'm going to officially chase you away. I've never felt anything like this. So, uh, I really can't say. It could be the start of something worse. A slow dwindling of the spirit to nothingness. But I have no reason to think it will. It's not like anything I felt with Krelgatoric. Like only a small sliver remained to reform the rest from void. So all I can say is that, for now, I don't believe I'm going anywhere. Go on. I've got things in hand here. And Aurene doesn't need any more excitement. Okay, let's get this started. You, my friend, took a nasty blow to the head when you crash-landed on our beach. I can't sign your medical release unless you prove you're not gonna keel over on me out there. So, you're gonna join the students in a few training exercises here at the monastery. You're sending me to school? Yes. Yes, I am. But it should be easy for you, right? Assuming everything's in working order and the legend of the commander isn't just a Crichton fairy tale. Your little friend's already out there. Threw himself right into it. Got a bit of a ferocious streak. Okay, for the final test, you're gonna go toe to toe with one of our fighting mechs. Sounds easy enough. I don't usually set it to maximum power, because, you know, there's a reason we're all being replaced by machines. But I think you just might be up to the challenge, Commander. Welcome, trainee. For your last combat trial, please step into the designated exam area. Please note, we are not responsible for any injuries, fatal or otherwise, that occur during this session. Impossible. You defeated me. I could deduct points for sloppiness, but I will choose the high road. Just kidding. A little joke to cheer myself up. Ha ha. Ha ha. Good. I can now sign this form with reasonable confidence that if you walk out of here and die, it's on you. You're free to do whatever it is you do. Maybe I can finally make some headway on that Aetherblade case. You know, Detective, we have a shared interest. Sending the Aetherblades back to the Mists. I don't suppose you'd be open to sharing any intelligence you've gathered. Ah. Uh, you want me to give you access to classified documents? I'm not authorized to make that call. You'd need clearance from someone way higher up the food chain. Ambassador Meade has a meeting with the Empress soon. If I could get her permission, would that work? If you come in waving the Imperial Seal around, pretty sure I'd be obligated to give you my incisors if you ask for them. Kazmir, are you there? Yes, Commander? 
I've got something I need to bring before the Empress, and I hear you're on your way to court this afternoon. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure I could negotiate an extra plus one. Though they did drag their heels a little when I asked about Timey. And you did just get out of jail. No, I can make this happen. Meet us at the Imperial Palace. I'll handle everything. Big wig party in there. I feel underdressed. If I knew I was gonna meet an Empress... It's exciting, but a little nerve-wracking. Still getting the hang of this diplomacy thing. So much writing on it. Trade? Treaties? Reopening relations with Cantha after a hundred plus years is gonna be... Delicate. To say the least. You got this, Ambassador Meade. Go make history. Thanks. Whenever you're ready, Commander. Okay. Follow my lead. I appreciate the Minister's concerns, Imperial Majesty. Do you now? But these mechs are next-gen. The very latest model. Upgraded specs, months of field testing... In a closed environment, with no actual people around to get in their way. <laughs> Some test. I also appreciate that the Minister of Security for an island with no contact with the outside world, Which I... and thus no threats to its security, has had, by definition, a portfolio unworthy of his talents or his time. His attention to these matters, so unrelated to his own expertise, is generous and greatly appreciated. Ap yes, yes, save it. Majesty, this woman is a parasite. This who woman is transforming our empire, Minister. Please afford her the respect her achievements merit. And June, please afford me the respect my throne merits. I do know sarcasm when I hear it. Madame June knows her business. She has served our empire well to this point. I see no reason to doubt her now. Imperial Majesty. Of course you'd take her side. <clears throat> Ambassador Mead. Well, my father thought this day would never come. If he were here, he'd die all over again. The Crichton Ambassador, Lady Casimir Mead. And retinue. Retinue? Shh. Your Imperial Majesty. Warmest regards from Queen Jenna at this unexpected dawn. A renewal of our ancient friendship. Not exactly how we remember it. Please relay Cantha's best wishes to our sister, the Queen, whom we look forward to meeting at the soonest opportunity. May I also apologize on Krita's behalf for the recent unpleasantness. Which one? The Sky Pirates flying daily sorties over Xingjie? If they're yours, we definitely have a problem. The Aether Blades are no allies of ours, Majesty. They've attacked mainland Tyria on numerous occasions. The Ambassador was perhaps referring to the unsanctioned arrival of her colleagues on her shores. Ah, yes. In my father's day, that might have started a war. Even now, it doesn't exactly inspire trust. But in the modern era, Kantha now handles these matters with a more delicate touch. Which we appreciate. Kryda has no wish to try Kantha's Too good... late. Tyria Royals, an endless war which you've now brought crashing onto our shores. No, respectfully, Minister. Crida has nothing to do with the Aetherblade attacks or the a crash. A moment ago, you were apologizing for it. Majesty, the Outsiders are liars, warmongers, as your father well knew. And your sister, Madame June, has invited them to our doorstep. She doesn't see the threat. I see the opportunity. Enough, Lee. I wonder if our open court is the appropriate venue for discussing these matters. Perhaps the Minister would join me in the antechamber, so he might continue the conversation? He would. Mm, he would not. Well, that went about as I expected. I assume these are the aforementioned colleagues? One of them, Majesty. The Commander here. Commander? What are you the commander of? 
Uh, nothing, Majesty. Not anymore. But formally of the Pact Alliance. Ah, yes. I've heard of that. As I said, Majesty, we know the Aetherblades. We know their ways, their tactics. The Commander was fighting them when the airship crashed, and would relish a chance to repay Kantha's mercy. Armed with any intelligence your Ministry of Security may have, we can bring them to justice for you. Let's hope you're a better pirate hunter than airship pilot. That's acceptable to us. Speak to Minister Lee about it. Well, what do we do now? Speak to Minister Lee about it. It was a simple business transaction. You wanted this chaos. I want Kantha to enter the modern age. To join the community of nations. You don't care about Kantha. You care about money. Foreign markets. I care about both, Lee. It's not a zero-sum game. It's not a game at all. Why do you think we sealed ourselves off to begin with? If I may. I get it. Your people withdrew from the world. Now you're rejoining it. There is risk. There is also promise. Our nations have an unprecedented opportunity. No need to waste that over a... misunderstanding. Apologies. Rude of us to air our laundry in front of guests. Didn't hear a thing. Minister. Minister, I understand you're preoccupied with other matters, but I'd appreciate your help with something. Yes, yes. Seems I can't go a minute without someone requiring my counsel. Right. Anyway, my colleagues and I will be investigating the Aetherblades, but the wishes I'm afraid of... that won't be possible. That case falls under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Security. Per the wishes of Her Majesty the Empress. The Empress approves of your involvement. She gave Ambassador Meade her blessing. Consider it an apology for our rude entrance. As she wishes. Investigate away. The area is crawling with Aetherblades. Your kind of people. Shame. Some people can't see this as a pivotal time for Cantha. Even the Imperial Court agreed. With a little persuasion. I did not realize you'd advocated for us. I assure you, it won't be in vain. I'm no stranger to cantankerous bureaucrats. But you probably caught that during my Jade Mech discussion. Oh, so they are Jade-powered. You must be using a Jade core as the power supply? Very astute. The Jade acts as a sort of battery. Using its charge, my tech powers most of Cantha. Oh, that's so elegant. And here I am powering my golem mods like I'm stuck in pre-Exodus times. Tiny doesn't give herself enough credit. She's a very talented researcher and inventor. Is that so? What's your area of expertise? I have many. But these days it's all dragons, all the time. Dragons are also a passion of mine. Not to pry, but I hope yours is doing well. You know about Aurene. When you're the visionary who powers an entire nation, people keep you informed. If you want, I may be able to help her. Your tech helped the commander recover, so I'd say it's worth a shot. Look at that healthy glow. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but we'll have to talk to Aurene. Right now she needs rest. Of course. Let me know and I'll make the time for her. Besides, it's not every day you meet an elder dragon. Did the Glick's you lectures really on magnetism ever make it out here? You could say that. I'll have to show you my copy. Notes on every page. Oh, do you also write sassy comments when you disagree with the author? There's an entire section in Novi's science journals that I crossed out and wrote, You're kidding, right? Alchemy, don't even get me started. More like Novi's pseudoscience journals, am I right? 
Commander. Could you swing by the Aetherblades crash site? Trying to dig up some leads on their whereabouts. Sorry, mistaken. If they think kidnapping a member of the scientific community will go on... Gorik will be assisting us. He's on an uncompromising quest for justice. His words. Well, aren't you a couple of busy field bulls? <laughs> Rama? You're on this call? It's an open frequency. Might as well be hosting your own radio show at this point. So you really pulled it off and got Empress Yin's approval. Hmm. Guess you'll be traipsing through my office soon. Look, you can see the Blades classified files, but nothing else. But Connie will be keeping an eye on you. Got it? Uh, I will? Ugh, so much for reasonable work hours. You folks at Minsec must be swamped with everything going on. Thanks to our busy friends at the Ministry of Security, we won't have any extra help. But I'm sure we'll manage. We'll start looking around up front here. Commander, why don't you check out the wreckage? We can sink after. If I so much as smell one of those aerial degenerates, I'm showing no mercy. And neither should you, Commander. So, Scarlet got this plan. Join up with the inquest. Get me on the Captain's Council. It's big. I was worried about working for someone else. I never took orders well. But Scarlet, she knows what she wants. Knows how to get it. No fear, no hesitation. It makes sense. If you want to shake the foundations of the world, you can't be scared of falling rubble. Portal's offline. Hull's compromised. Missing about a hundred unique parts, and that's just us. Other ships in the fleet are just as bad. Captain! Captain! Scarlet's dead. And the commander... You killed her, I know, I don't care. Captain, pull yourself together. The crew can't see you like this. Scarlet was the post. Captain, you have maybe ten seconds before the crew sees you like this and loses all respect for you. We're trapped in the mists, and they need a leader. So... Lead. You're right. Organize the crew. We start working to fix this right now. I know where you're going with this, and the answer is no. We have no other choice. How else do we get the part? Hmm? How? Uh, what you're saying is, we travel through the fractals in the mists, find our past selves, and steal from them? That's not possible. And even if it were, wouldn't we just be screwing up our own pasts? They're fractals. Echoes of pure potentiality. Our own pasts are secure. We'd just be exploring the alternative. Fractals are inherently unstable. We can't waltz around the mists wherever we please, like it's the South Sun Cove. We would have to travel to dozens of fractals. Stable fractals. Hundreds for the right parts. Even then, using those parts could have unpredictable results. <laughs> and you're okay with this? Fighting, maybe killing yourselves hundreds of times over? I ask again. How else do we get the part? Hey, Jory. I found a few recordings, but no leads. Who knew pirates had so much drama? Tell me about it. Just keep looking. Think we I might be on to some... Gorik, calm down. I'll call you back. Yeah. Everyone all right? Stand up. One ship unaccounted for. Was that Kralkatorik in the mists? What's an Elder Dragon doing in the mist? Huh? What's been going on up here? And where the hell are we? I'm checking. If that's Alona, that's the scum. Kantha. Kantha? No. Ivan, you 
said we'd come out over the crystal desert! I was performing very complex calculations while also being chased by an elder dragon. So cut me some slack! Calm down, everyone. Anka, Ivan, see if you can get in touch with the other ships. Renyak, gather our supplies. Guess we're about to find out how Kanth has changed in the last 200 years. Full disclosure, I'm now recording this conversation. For posterity. And let the record show that Ivan does not like what First Mate Anka is insinuating. Not one bit. Relax, Moleface. I'm not insinuating anything. Even an obsequious, brown-nosing bootlicker like Ivan must have noticed how much time the captain's been spending among the Canthans. She's in it. What do you call it? Uh, casing the place. <laughs> The crew's getting restless. We should be ransacking the locals. Dare I say, even committing a little bit of piracy? Instead, we're hiding in these ruins up to our ears in seawater and hungry risen. We're not hiding. We're strategizing. You want to pillage the most technologically advanced civilization on Tyria without a plan? The captain's got a connection in Cantha. That's our inn. We do a couple of jobs for this canton, earn some trust, and then we make our move. Explain this to me again. She needs a kind of dragon expert. She has every possible resource in Campa at her disposal. Why did she need us to find her a dragon expert? Apparently, they're in short supply, so she needs us to import one. Mmm, a dragon expert. Yeah. I was thinking you could go to Radisim, maybe ask a... I know someone. What? I know someone. You think they'd be willing to come? No question. I know exactly what he wants to hear. Commander, need you ASAP. We may have just found our lead. I'll take that. Hey! Know how long it took to find that thing? Think I'm scared of you? Some little rat thing with pointy hands? Well, hello, Commander. Say, didn't you just beat this gentleman's friends to a pulp? Indeed. Looks like I must have forgotten one. We found him roaming around out here. Seems he was piecing this together. I recall Blish using similar components in his portal research. Appears to be a tool for mistraversal. Shame if we accidentally dropped it off a scenic overlook. And I hear the mists are lovely this time of year, too. Careful with that. We need... Fine. What do you want? Make it quick. Anka cited a professional interest in Elder Dragon research, namely Aurin. Care to elaborate? You're asking the wrong guy. Anka does the dragon stuff. And maybe my train? Who knows anymore? Sounds a bit uncertain. <laughs> Cause it doesn't matter. There's better things coming. Big plans. The Jade Winds are a changing. Care to elaborate on these big plans, Air Fiend? <laughs> Rude to my associate and off topic. Commander, would you teach this bozo some manners? I got an alibi. Good thing my knuckles healed from smashing all those Aether Blade skulls. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No need to get violent. I don't know what the plans are, okay? Just heard some higher ups mention it. Look, I fix stuff, clean the galley, might run a few errands. Nobody's telling me nothing. Gods, we're beating up the maintenance guy? This isn't helping anything. Ugh, let him go. Can you just give it back? Yeah! Corey! Damn it! What'd you do that for, you little dweeb? Seems to have gotten stuck in these pointy hands. I could probably repair it quite easily, but I have one. Hey, so when are you stopping by the Minsec office for those files? Connie's gotta lock up at some point. She really doesn't like working overtime. Detective, can you please stop hacking our private communications? 
I'm not hacking. For the love of... Commander, if you want those files, then they're waiting at the Minsec office. Don't try any funny business. I understand. I'll be there soon. Hacker! <sighs> Akane, right? Detective Rama gave me permission to be here. Okay, yeah, that's totally interesting. I'm gonna dig through your archives. In the back, knock yourself out. Ooh, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Got what you needed? Cog school, eh? The Aether Blades must be marking the territory. Got what I needed, I think. Thanks for your help, Wakane. Mm. Hey, bye. Commander, I'm at Orbeen's cave. You need to get over here. Like, right now! I'm on my way. Ugh, Alchemy, you're here. What's going on, Tiny? I don't know. Orene and Kate? They're... They're fine. June, what are you doing here? I told you my jade tech can help your dragon. So that's what I'm doing. Helping. We were talking to Orene when she went quiet all of a sudden. It's like she's sleeping. But not. I thought it could be a concussion from the fall. But then Kate... Uh, she fell silent too, while still standing. I don't know if she's being affected because of their connection or what. All my tests show Orene's magic levels are steadily improving. Perhaps the extractor caused lingering side effects. Maybe, but it's impossible. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Commander? Commander? Over, Over here. here. Okay. Where, are Where are we? Shh. They're talking. They're not just mortals. They're my friends. They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought, I don't have to be alone anymore. <sighs> the other elder dragons? You're there. Hmm. I was imperfect, you see. Attuned to water, but not the other elements. I thought my children would bring balance and harmony to the fabric of magic. But... Then, what happens now, Zuan? Now, you take my place, little one. Consider what I've said. Looks like they're coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. What just happened? That was the first Elder Dragon. The mother of all dragons. Isn't that right, Aureen? Kralkatorix. Mother. My great-grandmother. What? what? We'd spoken before. A few times. I didn't know who she was until we came here. What does she want? For me, to take her place. Take her place? And become the one Elder Dragon. The last Elder Dragon who wanted something from me was Jormag. And we know how that turned out. Su Wan isn't Jormag. Can we be sure? You can. Su Wan's been Kantha's guardian since the Zaitan disaster. Or so goes the legend. I need some time to think about this. Of course. In the meantime, we still have to find the Aether Blades. And whatever that extractor thing is, how did they get their hands on something capable of doing... this? Anka was a brilliant machinist, and that weapon was a Sura made, but the technology's beyond even the inquest. 
That's because it's Canthan. I gave it to my Trin. You hired them, didn't you? I did. You? You hired them? This is all because of- I didn't know what they were capable of, or their history in Tyria. If I did, I never would have- I'm sure you have questions. Ask me anything. She was working for me. She's got Canthan ancestry, so she could walk among us. My guards caught her snooping around one of my power plants. She'd hacked my security system. I could have made her disappear. No one knew who she was, after all. But I was impressed at her resourcefulness. So I told her to come work for me. I need people who can find my blind spots. And I took a liking to her. She became my protege. Bit of a slow learner, but she worked her ass off. Whenever I tried explaining Jade Thama dynamics, she struggled. But somehow she always figured it out. I could never put my finger on it. That woman was haunted by something. Maybe all the people she killed at Lion's Arch. Maybe. I needed dragon research. As you're acutely aware, the dragon cycle threatens us all. And it turns out the best dragon researchers exist outside of Cantha. Mm-hmm. She's got a point there. The Aetherblades could go where I couldn't. That's why I needed Mai and her crew. I never asked them to kidnap anyone. I wanted to import talented researchers with their consent. Apparently, they came out of the mists. They were lucky to have landed in the ruins of Old Kaining and not... Well... You saw what happened when you dropped in on Xingjie? I suppose it began with the Zaitan disaster. The massive tidal wave of undead that came crashing to our shores. Worst calamity since the Jade Wind. Even a hundred years later, with all our advances, we still feel the effects. Well, Su Wan is the hero of that story. Rising from the depths, turning back the waters and the dead. Poetic stuff. People say she formed a pact with Kunavang to protect Kantha. Salt spray dragon, local, hero in her own right. But, aside from a few rumors here and there, they've hardly been seen since. For Su Wan to reach out to Orin so soon after her arrival, well, it's certainly a fascinating development. June, the Aetherblades are planning something big. We need to track down my Trin before it's too late. I only spoke with Mai, and usually on my turf. They have a number of hideouts across Kantha. In Xingjie, I'd expect her to be hiding somewhere in Zendai Jun. A cave, if I know her. My sources tell me the Ministry of Security's been looking for her, but somehow she's avoided detection. The Blades are a sneaky bunch, but we've got experience with their bag of tricks. Okay then. Marjorie, Gorik, let's finish this investigation. Let me know when you find my Trin, Commander. <laughs>